The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. What's up? What's up, Facebook? What's up? Go to webinar people. How's everybody doing today? Press one if you're excited to learn one new thing today that could potentially one day make you an affiliate millionaire like Sam X. Sam, yeah, Sam X. You see the story, guys, that I told you is, is the truth. Sam X uh, was uh, very humble from Spain, uh, asking for 50 bucks a day. And and now um, he does that a second. <laughs> he's he's you know he's very humble, but most important is is brilliant. Uh, he's able to uh, pretty much master anything. Uh, uh, he has that kind of uh, brain, you know, and 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 he's one of the best uh, mentors, coaches, media buyers in in the industry. And uh, so everything that he tells you, you do because he is very, very, very good. So I'm excited. I'm excited. What do you got for us today, Sam X? Thanks, Yanni, for your words. How 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 is everyone doing today? Let's see. How's everybody doing today? Let's see what they said. We got we got a lot of people on Facebook. We got a lot of people here at the webinar. People say nice, nice. they said they're they're great, they're excited, they want to learn the, from the more people, the, the better content. <laughs> yes, yes, more people. So make sure that if you're not responding, he's not gonna be throwing the, the bomb. Sam is badass, says OG Daniel. Guys, <laughs> you know him? Do you know him from Colombia? From yeah, Colombia. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Guys, remember, I don't know if you guys know us or not, but we are live also on Facebook. So make sure you follow us on Facebook. We're live every day. We have something, some type of show that will make you a millionaire in the bank and in your mind. Okay? So cool, cool, man. Go, go, let's go. go. Let's go. Money can wait. Money can wait. Yes. Okay, guys, so this is the, the show seven. Uh, if it's your first show uh, with, with me, uh, just, you know, you have six more to watch. Um, you know, they should be in, in YouTube channel or, you know, Gianni's Wall. Or if, if you're interested in, in, in watching those, just let us know. Uh, so today's show is about, you know, the five reasons uh, why your campaign and offer is not making you money. And uh, you know it, it can be many different many different factors, and we are gonna talk about today uh, about you know the, the the most important ones and those uh, you know things that can make uh, you know your campaign start converting and, and you know going from red to green. Actually, the show six, uh, which was very very good last week, uh, was about you know how to go from red to green. Today is more like, well, you know, you have a campaign that is not even red. Uh, well, it's red, obviously, but it didn't get any, any single conversion, right? So let's go ahead. Uh, for those who don't know me, I am Samuel or Samuel from Spain. I ate a sandwich with ham, Spanish ham and cheese today. It was really good. <laughs> and, uh, you know, as Gianni, Gianni said, seven figure media buyer. Um, I love to media buy, I love uh, numbers, and uh, you know, pretty humble right now in, in Spain. I travel a lot, and uh, here I am for you guys. Uh, if you have any questions at the end of the show, uh, more than happy to to answer to all your questions. So, who wants to be a millionaire, guys? Press one, press one. Set the intention. I want to see. I want to see who of our our awesome friends and followers from Facebook and and uh, the people who are in our email list want to become a millionaire one day. There's nothing wrong, guys. Don't be afraid to, to, to say that you want to become a millionaire. 
Or if you're already a millionaire, why not a super archie millionaire? You know, uh, a lot of people never become anything because they never ask for it. As I told you my story when I was driving my 2000 Kia with the door that will not open, that was four years ago, I was driving and I was pimping that car and I was telling myself that I was already a millionaire, you know, and, and, and I believed it so much that I became one. So don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to ask for a better life. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong. Excellent. Yeah, you have to be. You have to be obsessed. That's that's for sure. One one very important thing. You have to. You know, if you want to be a millionaire, you 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 have to put it in in. You know, in the in the, the first wall you see in the morning. You have to go to to the bathroom and you have to have it written somewhere. You have to have it in your vision board. You have to have it everywhere and you have to. You know want it so badly that it becomes a reality yes so ready let's go let's go okay guys so in a in a general affiliate marketing campaign right um that's pretty much it uh if we talk about you know being google facebook uh, any native advertising network uh pay-per-view networks uh you know whatever you call it um we always launch launch a campaign sorry and uh you know the second step is always you know you usually lose some money you know which is something i don't like to say we always say that we buy data we never lose money there because you know the money that you spend it goes to your data and is there waiting for you to do something with your data okay so you buy data while you collect very important com conversion data okay then the next step is obviously you start optimizing and split testing while, you know, uh, for, sorry, based on your data, based on the data that you have, you start optimizing and split testing, okay? So you lose money or you, you buy data at the beginning, then you start tweaking your campaign and then obviously uh, it becomes greener and greener, okay? So the more you optimize, the more, uh, you know, profitable the campaign should be, okay? So, and you repeat the process pretty much. I mean, there is no other 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 thing. Obviously, you know, within those points, there is a lot of work to do and a lot of optimization, uh, you know, things to, to do, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, but that's it, okay? So, guys, what is the most important stage in an affiliate marketing campaign? Let's see how many uh, of you are right or wrong Okay, let's uh, see, let's see. Yeah, yeah, let, let me know what, what people are saying. What is the most important stage in affiliate marketing campaign? Let's see, let's see who can guess it. You know, we got we got Andres from Colombia, I think, where he, he always comments uh, jokes, but he doesn't comment smart comments. Let's see if he comments something good today. He said the most important <laughs> stage is when you go to the bank and you withdraw the money. Oscar, <laughs> sa Oscar says research. Victor says optimization. Uh, Daniel says research. Let's see. Uh, a lot of people say getting getting traffic. Theo says getting traffic. Jamie says research. Kelly says research. Uh, Andres says nothing because all he does is he makes fun of people. Uh, OG <laughs> OG says testing okay. tracking. Let's unveil the. A split test. So, oh, constantly optimize. So, the guys, the, the most important stage, we know that, is uh, optimization. Okay. And obviously, you know, research is really, really important. And, you know, it sets the, the base, uh, you know, for your campaign. But, you know, in terms of, you know, the, the, the importance of, the affiliate, of any affiliate marketing campaign, optimization is, is where the money is. And you can have guys. You can have people that you know are gonna make a, you know a research for five dollars an, an hour. Maybe maybe it's not not the best research because they don't have the marketing skills to you know to filter the, the good data or, or the bad data. But you know you can outsource researching data. You can outsource setting up a campaign. You can outsource building your landers. You can outsource finding offers and dealing with uh, account managers. But you know the only thing that you can outsource is optimizing. Uh, because optimizing is all about looking at the numbers uh, and using your skills, uh, you know, to turn uh, the red to green. 
So that's the, that's the most important part, and is where you know uh, the good good media buyers, uh, you know, it, it tells if you're a good media buyer or not, pretty much, you know, based on your optimization. And uh, you know, there is different ways to optimize and different parts to optimize, and you know, and you can feel it when you work with many media buyers. You can see that you know, uh, there is many different solutions for the same issue. But you know, some some media buyers they just go like uh, I don't know, like a knife, right? To to those parts that are not pretty much uh, you know that, that are affecting the profitability of the campaign, and they they just turn it green and green and green. So optimizing is is the key. And you know, when when we talk about optimizing, uh, you know, we talk about you know offers, ads, uh, pre-sale pages. Uh, keywords, obviously devices, uh, you know the location, the geos, uh, day partying, uh, partying or, or week partying, etc. And, et and right? what does it have to do with pinching a nipple of a monkey? <laughs> that's that's a pattern interrupt. <laughs> <laughs> pattern interrupt. <laughs> I'm like trying so to. I'm trying to put together, you know, that connection of pinching the nipple. No, you know, you know why is that? Is because optimizing is all about tweaks. Ah, okay, tweak, like tweaks, tweaks. Okay, like that monkey's Little tweaking. Tweak. <laughs> yeah, so you you know you 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 tweak, uh, you know, the offers or you tweak the ads or you tweak the pre-sale pages, and that's gonna make you money. Okay, pre um, press one, guys. We're gonna pinch the nipple of a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> Mother of tits. That's what Juan says. <laughs> that's funny. Okay. okay, guys. Uh, if you can learn something today, and I can, you know, we can make you laugh and have a good time. That's that's <laughs> even uh, more exciting for us. <laughs> so let's go with those five five most important uh, things, right? Um, so the first one is: Are you testing enough offers? Okay, and uh, in our experience, you know, and uh, all these years talking to affiliates and, and, and teaching the students. I still say like that, uh, people don't test enough offers. Um, you know, and, and if you are just running one offer, you are using one fishing rod. You know, if, if you're testing multiple offers, you have like, you know, a lot, multiple. Okay, so your chances are multiplied. So don't, don't just, you know, stick with the first one. Okay, uh, test offers. Okay, always split test offers. And offers are one of the most important things in your affiliate marketing campaign. Uh, just changing the offer can make you, you know, be, you know, minus 100% ROI to 200% ROI plus. So it's something that if you have a campaign that is not converting, I will say split test uh, three offers at a time. Okay, just rotate it in your tracking. And you're gonna see crazy, crazy differences. Okay, so uh, that's very, very important. Uh, payout means shit. Sorry for the word, but uh, that's it. Uh, there is some networks out there that they tell you, hey, you know, uh, this offer payout is fifty bucks, and you know the offers that you run are thirty-eight bucks. Uh, and I say, well, you know. That doesn't mean you know. That doesn't mean anything for me. Uh, it can mean for a newbie, or or maybe for someone that 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 you know doesn't know how how, how this works. But uh, just don't follow the offers with highest payouts. They don't mean anything. Just focus on EPCs. Focus on the money that those offers make you. It's very logic, but people tend to go to the shiny object of you know this network offers offers me higher pay, you know payouts. Uh, you know, most of the times, higher payouts mean means uh, that that network is stealing from you or is scrubbing you or or you know they are not being very very legit. So I prefer most of the times to run an offer with a, a lower payout, but I know that the offer is converting and it is having good EPCs. Okay, and everyone should know what an EPC EPC means or stands for and its earnings per click. Okay, pretty much. You know uh, how much money you are getting for every click you send. Okay, um, 
you know, NS, NS per click is one of the, the, the most important metric in what we do in the affiliate market. Uh, you know, and uh, it's pretty much what it says there, right? Uh, the higher your EPCs are, uh, the more earning power you have, okay? Obviously, it is very related with the traffic source. If you're doing pop ads, your EPCs are going to be less than $1, okay? If you're doing, uh, you know, being, maybe they're going to be, you know, a bit more than that, uh, two, three, four. It, it depends on the offer as well, right? But um, just always focus on EPCs. Don't focus on the payouts of the offer, okay? And test more offers. Uh, the second most important thing is, are you testing enough ads and landers? Okay, and collectively, for me, it's all about angles, okay? The offers and ads make the big difference, especially in Bing ads. If you're running Bing ads or any PPC traffic, um, offer and ads make a huge difference, okay? The same for the other traffic sources, but especially in, in Bing, okay? With landers, always test three landers from the beginning and never stop split testing. You know, once you find a winner, create variations of that winner. Never, never uh, be lazy. Always keep testing landers, okay? One simple tweak, one word that you add to the headline, one image that you change can make you, uh, you know, increase your ROI by 10%. Uh, I don't know if you guys would like to have a 10% increase in your campaigns. Yes. Would you like, guys? Yes. <laughs> Type, one if you... Type one if you like 10% increase in your campaign. One tip that someone is going to give you. Let's see. One. One. Maybe, maybe Andres types one this time. <laughs> 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 okay, guys. So, angles are extremely important in native and faithful. Obviously, being in other traffic source, but in native and faithful, they are really, really, really important. Okay. And one ad can make you go from minus 100 to 200 percent, you know, plus. Same with, with the offers. Offer and ads are the most important things. You know, to find angles, uh, you know, to create your ads, basically, research and spy as much as you can. Model what others are doing and, and split test like a, like a beast. Keep always testing ads and more ads and more ads. Cut the ads that are not making you money. Create variations of the ad that is, is your best performing and keep going. Uh, here is, you know, this, this sentence is very important. Don't attract clicks. What I mean with that is, uh, you know, people, when they start, they like to use these green borders. They like to, you know, I saw Bing ads where, you know, pretty much all the words were, you know, all capital letters. That, that hurts my eyes. I mean, that hurts any, any affiliate marketing, marketer ad, you know, eyes. Um, those ads are just attracting clicks, are not attracting sales. And what you are going to have is pretty much, and it can happen with your campaign if you're doing something like that, is you are getting tons of traffic, you're not getting conversions. That can be a reason. Okay? Uh, you know, be subtle, you know, have a good taste, don't, don't, don't attract clicks, attract sales. Okay? Uh, you don't need to have strange symbols. You don't have to do any any crazy thing like that. Okay, a good image or a good ad that pre-frames and that's the word pre-framing properly uh, your uh, you know potential you know buyer. Uh, you know it's 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 more than enough. Okay, for example, if we have a Bing ads uh, ad and you're promoting a product that cost. Uh, 37 for the you know the buyer uh, you can add the price on the ad guess what a person that sees the ad and see, uh, automatically sees the number there and a dollar sign there before even clicking the ad knows that he has to you know take out the credit card and pay something okay obviously if you put free you're gonna attract a lot of clicks but guess what if the product is not free you're going to lose the sale. You, so you're, you're getting a lot of clicks, but you're not getting sales. What, you know, what matters for us is sales. So just apply that, you know, pre-frame, you know, you have to, uh, you have to get, you know, the maximum amount of people to your ad 
that they have the, the right idea in their mind. They have to know that they have to buy something, okay? And they have to, they have to click knowing that whatever they're going to find after the ad is going to solve the, their problem, okay? Whether if it is diabetes or any other you know, product with any remedy, uh, they, have to, they have to know that before clicking the app, okay? The third one is, are you running on the right deal? Uh, you know, there is, there is going to be offers, campaigns that are not going to convert in, in, in one deal, and they're going to make you a lot of money in another deal, okay? Uh, you know, the, the offer itself can work better in one deal or another, and the angle may work in one country and not in another, okay? Uh, remember that, you know, obviously the angle has to be related to the geo. You cannot talk about, um, for example, uh, a celebrity that is very famous in the, you know, if you talk about Trump, well, that, that's very international, but uh, if you talk about, I don't know, any other celebrity, uh, you know, that is very famous in the U.S., like, I don't know, uh, Gianni, give me a celebrity name. Uh, let's see, uh, uh, Gianni, Coach Gianni. Coach Gianni, okay, good. So if you talk about Coach Gianni in, uh, <laughs> I don't know, in uh, Morocco, maybe <laughs> no one knows about Hey, no knows I, got about, some, I got some Morocco followers, Gianni, man. Right? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> but if you talk about Abdullah, uh, you know, in, a, uh, in Egypt, there, yeah. maybe, you know, they, they know about Abdullah. It's just a, a, a stupid uh, example, but it, it's, it's true, you know. I, I saw people using celebrities in some geos that I know for sure that no one knows about that celebrity. So, and, uh, you know, talking about celebrities, I am talking about other, other angles as well. But, you know, what may work for one country is not going to work for another and vice versa, okay? And the quality of the traffic uh, can be different as well, you know. The same traffic source can have a good quality for some deal and a horrible quality for other deal. Okay, so it's something that you, you have to test, okay. And obviously, the offer has to be open for any deal you want to test, you know. Some offers, they, they only work on in the U.S. deal, so you have to look for, for some offer, uh, you know, or related offer to another deal and so on. Just make sure that you you, uh, you talk about that with your account manager, okay? If you're running ClickBank, most of the ClickBank products are wide open to, you know, to all, you know, to pretty much all countries. Fourth point, did you buy enough data to make proper decisions, okay? Um, you have to know that if the payout of the offer is, 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 is very high, um, it's going to be harder to convert. In general terms, if you try to run an offer, let's say, I don't know, like uh, some uh, Forex or binary options offer that they, they have good payouts, maybe. not the mid, mid the gen ones, but not the others. I don't know, 100 bucks or a straight sale for any, you know, uh, product. Uh, they're going to be harder to convert in general terms. If you are starting and testing and, and you know, you don't have a, a huge budget, uh, you know, just stop doing that and focus on, you know, offers with lower payout, okay? Just focus on offers that have lo lower payouts and, and bigger conversion rates. Just spy, research what others are doing, make sure that the payout of the offer is not that high and just talk to your account manager, you know, just just do, do your researching really well uh, so you have that, you know, you know that the offer is hot, the offer is converted, okay? And don't be cheap, okay? Don't be cheap or you will make, uh, you know, decisions that are not uh, based on your data, you know? Uh, in the mastermind, we have students that, you know, they, they you know, they don't follow exactly what we teach. So, you know, maybe they spend like 20 bucks. Uh, we always say, you know, spend at least three times the payout of the offer, okay? Just a rule of thumb. Many, many, no, not many, but some students, they spend, uh, I don't know, 40 bucks or whatever, and they don't see a conversion 
and they get nervous, they get stressed, then they start doing changes to the campaign without having the, the you know enough patience. Uh, you know, if if a keyword receive, receives ten clicks, you cannot stop or increase the, the bid on that keyword. I mean, ten clicks is nothing. Okay, so you really need to buy more data and, and make proper decision. Okay, if you have an app, at least a hundred clicks to the app. If if you're looking at keywords, at least you know thirty to fifty clicks to make a decision on those. Okay, so that's really important. Okay, so make sure you you, you bought enough data to make uh, the right decisions, or or you will be just you know playing and, and not not doing anything right to your campaign. You will be just changing things and praying during the night so you wake up and you have some sale. And that that's not how it works. I mean, this is this is all about numbers. Analyzing the numbers that you have, making the proper decisions based on your data. Okay, based on your data. And the fifth one, guys, is the traffic source you use suck. Okay, um, <laughs> the majority, the majority of the times is not the traffic source. Stop doing Craigslist okay. traffic. Yeah, <laughs> Craigslist traffic. No, there's there's a lot of. Traffic sources out there that, well, you know, actually, you know, months ago I posted in my wall uh, an article and it's out there about, you know, uh, all this, you know, business behind the scenes where, you know, several traffic sources are buying and brokering traffic that is not even human. So if you're not, you know, if you're not going the route with, very very uh, proven traffic sources just you know just know that the traffic source can suck so even do, even though you, you send a million clicks you're not going to have a single conversion so do your research uh you know just make sure you know it's working for others and uh you know the truth is you know there's a lot of shitty traffic sources uh even even ones you know with some big names out there once you do, you, once you track properly, you you see well. You know this this traffic source has a lot of fucking bots. So uh, you know you really have to be you know uh, you know fast and, and cap those placements, widgets, or, or or you know or keywords, or you're gonna have you know you're gonna pay for for nothing pretty much. Okay, uh, you know the solution for this is very simple. Just focus on proven traffic sources. You know. Um, it's focus on Bing, focus on Facebook, Facebook, focus on Google, and you're not going to have any any issue at all, you know, uh, because they are very, very proven traffic sources and, and their traffic, you know, it's quality traffic, okay? So, some things to remember, you know, uh, keep it simple, that's, that's very important, just keep it simple, don't try to reinvent the wheel, uh, spy, research, uh, several people said, you know, research, what was the most important stage? Research, you know, research is really, really important. So, spy, research a lot, and model others a lot. Don't be lazy uh, launching, uh, split testing, okay? Uh, affiliates are very, very lazy in general terms. The ones that are driving Ferraris are not lazy, okay? So, um, just don't be lazy, you know, launch, don't be scared, uh, you know, something is going to work and it's going to make your, all your money back. If you, if you quit testing a couple of offers, a couple of ads and a couple of landers, guess what, you know, you just, you know, you pretty much lost your money because, you know, you, you know, you were so close, like this image when the guy is digging some tunnel. And it's so close to find, you know, success is the same is the same here with your campaign. Just don't be lazy, okay? And get support from from your account manager if you are in any CPA network or any mastermind group. You know, just uh, you know, being our uh, you know mastermind group, you, if free mastermind group or paid mastermind group, uh, but being a mastermind group, you have to be always you know talking to people that are doing the same. You know, one idea. Uh, that you get, uh, it can be, you know, in a, in a uh, digital, let's say, you know, uh, maximum, or it can be, you know, face-to-face -face, uh, event, like I was in Bangkok or, or Vegas, uh, you know, next, the next month, 
it's very important. And most of the times, uh, you suck. You know, that's that's a, a painful uh, a painful statement there, but uh, it's true. Is it true? You know, most of the times we suck, and uh, you know we blame the offer, the campaign, the traffic source, and the truth is, you have to move your ass. You have to test, 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 test until you find a winner. Once you find the winner, you make all your money back, you make money, and that winner, you know, it is gonna stop being a winner. So you have to keep split testing and move with your with the cheese. Okay. The cheese, the cheese, man. At the end is the average the people have wishes and hopes. Confident people have goals and plans. So <laughs> So if you will say to people, based on all your trips and, and, and conferences that you've gone to super affiliates and masterminds you've been, what is pretty much, once you have the, the, the skills, what is what stops mm. people to really, you know, find the holy grail? Do you think it's connections? What is the next step so they can actually crack the code? Why not? The, the first thing, I, you know, is, is obviously launching your, your, your first campaigns, making some money, and then, you know, you're going to have the issue of, of scaling. You know? It can be that you don't have the cash flow, or it can be that, you know, uh, you don't have systems in place. So I will say that, you know, you have to be, be, be open to outsource some, some of the, you know, repetitive uh, tasks that you're doing to be able to scale and focus more on, on you know, you know the direction where you where you're gonna go and, and try to find uh you know deals and try to find people who can help you uh you know to to scale and, and grow and scale and grow and diversify and grow and make more money yeah but, but uh, a lot of know, people say lately, yeah but a lot of people say i i, I have the skills you know yeah. i know how to do it but i can still yeah. i can still I, I i i still cannot make it work do you think it's because yeah. they need to be maybe around the people who are doers, right? Yeah, well, that's that's uh, you know a hundred percent million times. Uh, if 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 you are you know stuck in some way, uh, or you know things are not working out for you, and, and even though you think you have the skills, you you might not have them. You have to be in a in a mastermind. You have to be around people, and that's. You know that's pretty key. You know, uh, for example, um, in, in you know in the past events I, I was, you know, uh, just going to a to a party. Um, the first day we paid for the whole the whole event. Um, you know, one connection can can give you the piece that is missing. Uh, you know, uh, in your in, in your campaigns or in your whatever you you are doing to the match. Now, mastermind is, is a must. It's a must. Yes. So you have to be around, guys. You have to be around those people. Uh, something that we're doing at the middle of the mastermind is every every three months, we're having a meetup uh, in Orlando at Rafael's penthouse uh, in downtown Orlando. Uh, so we can uh, talk to you uh, what's working. So if you want information, uh, Go to coachjohnny.com forward slash call to see how you can be a part of these meetups where we meet up three times, four times a year. I pay for food. I pay for everything. You know, uh, I, I even bring strippers for you, uh, but I cannot, you know, participate, but I can, I can watch, right? Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, coachjani.com forward slash call if you're interested in masterminding with us, Samuel, Rafael, and all our students. And also, the whole plan of these meetups is to do joint, uh, you know, uh, joint ventures, right? Where where uh, maybe there's a student who is good, uh, maybe that the student has cash but doesn't have skills, so he can partner up with another student who has the skills but doesn't have cash. And that's what we try to do. We try to partner people up uh, based on their on their situation, and uh, I think we done pretty 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 good, you know. Uh, yeah. So it's something something that uh, that you definitely should uh, take a look if you obviously want to become a super affiliate, right? 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, what Jan is saying, you know, the starting point is, is a mastermind, and a mastermind with proven results. Then, you know, uh, at our level, it's, it's we, we mastermind every day, all day, and, you know, we have to, you know, we have private masterminds, and, you know, I have obviously a circle of people, uh, you know, I, I share little things, and, and, and I mastermind, you know, and, and that's that's just the same thing, but uh, at a different level. But uh, you you have to be always mastermind, always. Yes, yes, always, always, because it changes. The, the, the industry changes so fast that you want to be with the doers. Like I said, you know, it's like, you know, there's a lot of people out there who claim they make so much money and uh, right now they can't even make anything work. <laughs> Isn't that true? <laughs> they can't even make yeah. anything work and they still charge you, you know, $50,000 for mentoring, <laughs> which is ridiculous because what they're going to teach you doesn't work anymore uh, in affiliate marketing. Um, but uh, that's why you have to be trendy. You have to be with the people who are doing it, mastermind with them, keep learning, uh, attend, like uh, Samuel always recommends, once you have the skills, you, you, you must attend at least once a year the, the summit, right? The affiliate yeah, summit. Yeah, yeah. No, it's really, really important. I mean, those summits, if you know, if you know, you know, where, you know, who, who to talk with and, uh, you know, you have someone that, that connect you with a couple of guys, you know, uh, just a simple, just a simple, you know, introduction in Skype or, 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 or you know, introduction in person can, can change, can change your life forever. Yeah, that's it. Yep, yep, yep. Excellent, excellent. Any questions? Anyone? Any questions before yeah. Samuel has to go because he's in Spain? It's probably it's probably early or late. In Spain, one a.m. Yeah. One a.m. in in Spain, he's ready to go eat some uh, some seafood. Some ham. Uh, let's see. Andre has a question. He says, "PM me uh, if you want to watch me. PM me on Skype." Uh, he's gonna give you guys uh, his campaigns. Andres is ready to give everyone his campaigns. Go skyping. <laughs> <laughs> no, is there is there any any question, guys? Uh, more than happy to to help you. Uh, if you have any question, type it now, like in the wedding. Or yeah, you got thirty seconds to ask a question. Boom. If people are not asking, it's because they it's, are not being lazy. They are already okay. testing, it's, testing, it testing. It says, the winning ad, do you make more more tweaks to keep testing uh, based on that ad? Or do I yeah, change so, angles? Yeah, so, um, you know, we have a model in, in the mastermind. You know, and it depends on the traffic source, right? If you, if you are talking about uh, native or Facebook or, 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 you know, it's different, right? But if we keep it for, for, for being, um, we create uh, three totally different angles. Okay, so three totally different angles. Um, let's say, for example, for remedies, you can have, uh, you know, the news, breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthrough news uh, about something, right? Uh, it can be one, you know. Another one can be like uh, doctor's recommended uh, angle, right? And another can, can be like, uh, uh, you know, I cure my whatever, right? So those are three different angles for the same remedy product, okay? So once you test those, uh, what, what I suggest to you is you get the winner, okay? You spend enough money and, and you, you you gather enough data to, to obviously clearly see that there is a winner and uh, once you have that then you make variations of that ad okay you can tweak firstly you can tweak the headline a bit and then you can tweak the copy of the ad to make it better so you have a control which is the, the ad that is making you 50 to 100 percent or why or whatever and then you, you always try to, to beat the control. Excellent. Excellent, excellent. Uh, another person says, on average, how long does a winning ad stay winning? 
When do you let go of the winning hand? What percentage decline in conversion? Uh, you know, it's hard, hard to give like a, like, like a specific number, but uh, there, is, there is ads that uh, last pretty much uh, forever. <laughs> There, there is ads that that stay, you know, uh, you know, even in Google, you know, or, or in Bing, uh, you have ads that you can you can have running like lots, lots of, of time, yeah, like like months. It depends on the angle, right? Like for example, if you if you you have an angle about uh, Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie that many people were using it uh, with a product for EV, right? Or um, you have an angle with uh, Trump, uh, you know. I mean, you, you know that those angles are temporary, so you know those angles are not going to last forever, right? Um, but you have other angles that can last a lot more. There is angles about celebrities or angles uh, that you know can last a lot, a lot more for sure. So there is not like a, like a specific time. You know, it can be you know one month or it can be a year or even more you know good let's see let's assume you started with a new offer came up with your three angles but the offer isn't converting at what point do you stop do you look at total ad spend when do you decide to stop uh you know i i, I like to to always split test offers and uh, obviously at least two or three, and then uh, I will check pretty much the ads. Uh, I will say like, you know, 100, 150 clicks to the ad and open versions. I will keep testing more ads. At the same time, we're taking some offers um, and then make a, a final decision, okay? Obviously, if you spend, uh, you know, I would say like 200 or 300, and you, you don't have one single conversion, I will, I will just, you know, try to go to another vertical or, or see what is going on, you know. Maybe it's, it's something on your technical setup or whatever, but if you spend 200 bucks uh, plus uh, on, a, on a ClickBank offer, it should be that you, you have at least, you know, a couple of conversions minimum. Excellent. Excellent. Uh, let's see. Uh, do you use ClickBank or what affiliate networks are you with? Uh, no, I can't recommend networks, but you know people will hit me. <laughs> <laughs> but well, uh, it depends on you have to tell me which vertical you wanna you wanna run. It depends on the vertical. More likely, but ClickBank, yeah, depends on the Clickbank is 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 only to start to start uh, optimizing learning the skills. Then after people got the skills, we take them to to CPA. Okay, that's our process, yeah, our formula. You have to, you have to. I mean, the the, the uh, logical and, and the correct order. Uh, it's like the university, right? Like uh, when what? Well, this is not like the university, obviously, but uh, in the sense that you have to follow the steps, right? So I will start. You know, and this is how we do it most of the times. Is you know, you start with ClickBank and you direct link. Okay, you don't use a present lender. Why? Because there is a technical part that you know. If, if you start with a pre-sale with with ClickBank with offers and this and that at the same time, it's gonna be what? Wow, wow, what is this? You know, you need a master's degree. But uh, it's not like that. You know, you start with ClickBank and direct linking. So you you send uh, you know traffic directly to the offer, uh, and then you know you usually you know pre-sale later on and uh, with you know with, with adding a pre-sale pre page you know should should uh, increase your conversion your conversion rate sorry so it's it's not like you know you go and, and you start hard on, on you know you would have to start progressively good okay we take one more question uh let's see the last question is would you consider a niche with very few offers available for a beginner or better to go into a niche with more offers but at the same time is more competitive uh this that that's a that's a good question you know it's like uh 
uh, you know, you, you can go to click, let's talk about ClickBank, right? You can get an offer in ClickBank with uh, 250 uh, plus gravity. And, you know, you know that that offer converts, obviously, but at the same time, you know that there's a lot of competition. It could, it, 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 you know, maybe it is or maybe it's not. It depends, you know. When, when you see a gravity, you don't know what's the main traffic source in ClickUp. Most of the times with ClickUp is native advertising. Those guys that are making tech, you know, big numbers, it, it, it's that. But there is some opportunity with, with high gravity offers in Bing that you can make, you know, good, good numbers and good volume. Uh, but it's all about, uh, you know, competition. So my, my, you know, then you have offers that they don't have a big gravity. Um, there is a good opportunity there as well. If there is, you know, good, good traffic available. So it's more like what I will do is I will get an offer, uh, you know, I'm more than looking at the gravity. Uh, I will look at what is going on in my traffic source. There is other people running it. Are they running the same offer, uh, you know, and always, you know, go ahead. If you don't see anyone, it doesn't mean that, that, that the offer is not converting. It means that maybe there's a huge opportunity for you out there. And in being, uh, you know, many people are lazy and they just keep doing the same verticals. And this is, we repeat that to our students over and over again. You cannot be lazy, you know, you have to think out, out of the box. And there is uh, several verticals that are really, really good for being. And no one's really, you know, like focusing on those. Excellent. Excellent, man. Thank you so much. They said, Samuel, you're awesome. Thank you so much for the value. I guess they have to wait for the new uh, Samuel show every Wednesday. He's going to be changing your life and, uh, and hopefully make you a super affiliate. Remember, guys, if you're interested in masterminding with us four times a year, Go johnny.com for slash call. Uh, we are on a mission. We're on a mission to make many millionaires. Uh, that was my first mission. And that's why I uh, started a company called the Millionaire Mastermind. Okay, that was a dream. That was a, a mission. It was not easy. Uh, but uh, we kept pushing. We kept pushing. And, uh, and now life is so much different. And uh, things are, are very good for us. And uh, we're becoming stronger when it comes to uh, transforming lives. That's our mission. And uh, we hope uh, you can be one of your our next success stories, our next uh, coming to me for $50 a day and you end up running multi-million dollar campaigns, you know? Excellent, Samuel, thank you so much. And- uh, no Thank you guys for being here. Uh, see you in uh, the next week. Same okay. time, same place. Excellent, bro, take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, guys.